What's more divisive, smearing someone and by proxy all of their political ilk or pointing out the smearing? So let's go through the top five false smears of Trump uh, just from the last few weeks. All right, here's a, obviously the latest one that Trump, this is the media's room, they've run with this. Oh, no, no, no. They've not stopped run with it. I sound higher than never right now. <laughs> that Trump is to blame for the uh, synagogue shooting. Here you go. Day 648 of the Trump administration. As the nation has now witnessed in the space of just days, two acts of domestic terrorism, the second vastly darker than the first. The White House is now consumed by its effort to defend itself from those who see the link between the president's words and what we've witnessed. Yes, you can find his anti-Jewish rhetoric right next to your rocket fire, Brian Williams. For those of you who missed it, this is him apologizing for lying about being shot down. On this broadcast last week, in an effort to honor and thank a veteran who protected me and so many others after a ground fire incident in the desert during the Iraq war invasion, I made a mistake in recalling the events of 12 years ago. I want to apologize. I said I was traveling in an aircraft that was hit by RPG fire. I was instead in a following aircraft. We all landed after the ground fire incident and spent two harrowing nights in a sandstorm. You're a liar. You're he, a liar. He lied during the apology. Yeah. He lied during the apology with the two nights, right? Yeah, yeah. He was not in the desert for two nights. <laughs> and by the way, in case you were wondering, the guy who shot up the synagogue thought Donald Trump was a secret Jew. So they just try to say, right, here's what they do. They just say, wow. they say, right, they say, Nazis hated Jews. Nazis, social, uh, get rid of socialists. They're right wing. Therefore, anyone who doesn't like Jews, right wing, Donald Trump, responsible for the, no, Donald Trump has been a huge supporter of Israel, which is actually a huge reason that the left doesn't like him, as well as the very small minority of vocal racists in this country. Don't believe me? Listen to him yourself. The Jews have endured terrible persecution, and you know that. We've all read it. We've studied it. They've gone through a lot. And those love seeking watch. their yeah. destruction, we will seek their. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's anti-Semitic. Nailed it. You know, <laughs> the point is, how do you, how do you blame Don the, the last thing you can no. say about Donald Trump is that he's an anti-Semite. No, of yeah, course have not. Have you met his son-in-law? <laughs> yeah. These are the same people yeah. who are like, Donald Trump's giving too much power to Kushner. And, oh, okay, okay, I go. Also, he hates Jews. All right, Wait. let's move on to the next uh, myth that comes to us. Uh, that he's a terror sympathizer. Listen all. This has always been a problem with this president. He has always shown a sympathy or a dismissiveness towards terrorism. What? Uh, he what? is a he is a, a terrorist sympathizer. Let me just oh, say things. I've never heard that. Good God. Donald Trump likes terrorists. <laughs> also, Kevin Spacey <laughs> likes women. Oh, uh, now I know not yeah. to listen to you. Uh, actually, by the way, if we're going to talk about actual terrorism, Trump has a much better record than Obama. And he, certainly the rhetoric, which people have talked about yeah, as yeah. being, right, remember the, the, the travel ban? Yeah. They just had like, listen, many Muslims are great, American-loving patriots, but the terrorists are the ones I hate. Oh, really? Now we're just, we're anti-terrorist? <laughs> Bar Barack Obama traded terror. He, he was, he was like, tra like there were baseball trading cards. Terrorists for traitors. Oh, gosh. Stereotypes right. now, sir. Top smear number three. <laughs> I can't find my bike. Uh, from CNN. <laughs> this is just, you know what? This is just the myth number three. He, he, of course, you know, the recent, uh, the get her done uh, alarm clock bomber. Yeah. Just, just roll the clip. This is something they are going to embrace. This is a strategy they are going to move forward with, even in the face oh, of -E -Cup. <laughs> literal bombs sent to the news media and uh, Democrats. Like, do you think the naughty librarian look still works because I'm 55? <laughs> no, not no, right no. now. I'm just saying you're about to hit that. I used to, like, like Essie Cup, I used to spend time with her, but I, when I tuned into CNN, it's like, hey, Essie Cup, you will only be employed here if you do nothing but bash Trump. Got it? So long as the check clears. <laughs> um, exactly. And let's be clear about this. Time. Don't take our don't take our word for it. This is where Levar Burton, right? You know Levar Burton. You know he would say, take take the word take the yeah. word of a six year old kids for it. And they'd be like, I like the book. I'm reading Rainbow. <laughs> Levar, why didn't you just start articulate this? But don't take our word for it. Trump's actual words on the bomber. These terrorizing acts are despicable and have no place in our country. No place. I've instructed no place, authorities to spare no resource or expense in finding those responsible and bringing them to swift and certain justice. And we will prosecute 
them, him, her, whoever it may be, the. to the fullest <laughs> extent of the law. It seems pretty cut and dry. <laughs> we know it. We know it's true, folks. We know it's true. I got to get back to my speech. But you know it, right? We all know it. Right? He that went was off good. prompter. I went off book. I'm like, I'm like Vince Vaughn. Hey, baby, over here, right? <laughs> ah, a fast-talking wheeler and dealer. Not exactly, but I, 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 there's something refreshing about uh, just his response here. He was like, basically, that was a presidential way of saying, you're a piece of... Top uh, smear number two. This is, this is actually a con Congress person on CNN. Oh boy! Uh, again, we're back. Back. He's he's the anti-Semite responsible yeah. for the synagogue shooting. But his son-in-law may have ordered the murder of Washington Post journalist. How do we print? Is it is it Kasahogi? Uh -huh. No, you're oh, oh, we're going to hear it in the next. Clip. <laughs> we're going to hear it in the next clip. The reporting that Jared Kushner a weird looking may face. have with U.S. intelligence delivered a hit list, an enemies wow. list, He's a to the crown wife. prince, to MBS in Saudi Arabia, and that the prince then may have acted on that, and one of the what? people that he took action against ah. is Mr. Kasoji. Oh, so close, Kasoji. <laughs> show, what? Uh, here's Kasoji. the thing. There's actually no evidence of the Kushner hit list, the conspiracy <laughs> theory. Like you, was it a false flag? I That's didn't why say that. Great lead in. Uh, and uh, here's the thing. After some initial trepidation regarding the blaming of Saudi Arabia, and I, I, I talked about that was not through. I'm not a fan of Saudi Arabia in any right. capacity. Yeah. Yeah. All right? I have a problem when you make women dress like ninjas or, you know, they're not allowed. I don't know if they're allowed to drive now. I don't know the exact rules. It's changing bit. all the time. They're not, you know, they're definitely not allowed to use a passing lane. I know that. Uh, <laughs> after waiting, Trump was pretty harsh on the Saudis. Here you go. It was carried out poorly, and the cover-up was one of the worst in the history of cover-ups. It's very simple. Bad deal. It have never been thought of. <laughs> I love how Bad they deal. said, just I say, terrible cover-up. <laughs> That's it, President Trump's yeah. advisor. He's like, got it. Like, just trust me. You say it, that'll be enough. To it. Absolutely. I will stop. Bad deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I got to say it. it. I, I wouldn't it. have made that deal. <laughs> Frankly, they would have said, this guy is not going to make that deal. Yeah. And I wouldn't. All right, number one. Number one. I don't even want to second. Number one smear against President Donald yeah. Trump. And just watch what the CNN panelist has to say. Number one. This president has radicalized so many more people than ISIS ever did. What? Uh, <laughs> was she talking about the get her done flags and confused it with the bombs? <laughs> this president has radicalized more people than ISIS. Nimmer, can you confirm? That, that, like, how many people have been like, MAGA and beheadings? <laughs> like, I just want to know, like, how many <laughs> of those? Allahu MAGA! <laughs> an electric, electric turkey oh. carver. I just want to make sure you all know this is to make America great again. Right, <laughs> no evidence, of course, at all. Synagogue shooter hated Trump, thought that he was a secret Jew. All right. <laughs> Let's be really clear. This because this was said in context about that she was saying yeah. he's radicalized more people than ISIS. No. 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 She she obviously has never met ISIS. Right? She has never done any research on what ISIS does. Come on, see. Right. Uh, can... Here's one thing too. I, Trump Trump is absolutely hard in the media. Okay. Yeah, of in, course. In, in conclusion, and I'm getting very near the end of this now. Name that movie line. Like comment below. Uh, does he ever accuse them of murder, though? No. The media? Or of being terrorists? Or should I say, I shouldn't even say ever. Does he consistently accuse them of murder or family members of murder or of being terrorists or of radicalizing more people than ISIS? Again, someone calls you, a, when he said they were evil, yeah. he was talking about the media who came forward and said that Kavanaugh needed to step down because someone came forward with no who, what, where, when, why, accusing a man of being a gang rapist, and all the people who said, we know this isn't true, were accused themselves of being evil. And he said, oh, look, there's no evidence. Evil stuff. Evil stuff, folks. That's as bad as the actual possibly false accusation. And I, I, you know what? False accusations of rape. Let's just say that. Yeah. Where's Christine Ford? Aside from the GoFundMe, that's now what? Accrued, is it? Is it a million dollars? $800,000? Oh, it's pretty close. What does she that? have to gain by lying? I present to you Exhibit A. Yeah. Mass violence as a movement is exclusive to the left. When was the last, let me ask you this, when was the last conservative Baltimore? When was the last right-wing Portland Antifa pulling people out of cars and punching them in the face? When was the last time you had conservatives knocking people out at airports en masse because of hashtag fight for 15? Right? What? Hold on a second. Someone doesn't need me for a filet of fish or they're going to automate it? Oh, I'm going to go punch an old lady at the carry-on at carousel. This is what happens. Black Lives Matter often cops. Remember the Dallas shootings? Black Lives Matter, Baltimore, anything comparable en masse as an actual movement coming from the right. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. Bring it. Comment. I'll wait, you evil bastards.